a lot of things right there. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hey, you should do all the things. Hope you enjoy the video. I got some Pokemon fits picked up from Japan. If you see like lights flashing around, it's the shirt and like light and stuff, the way it affects it. It um it looks like a party. It just looks like a disco in here. Um and I'm a really big fan of that, so I'm not gonna change my shirt. I hope you guys can be uh focused anyway. I got three of them. Um my other friend got three of them, and <laughs> my other friend got one. Alex, my honey, got one, and, um, my mom got one, so, <laughs> you should try to guess which three I got below, it's the only first two gens, so if you guess any of them right, for each one you guess right, you get 30 cool boy points. and if you guess all of them right, you get times four for every one, so that's... Well, that's that mini, because math, you know. <laughs> and they're going to be releasing every gen, but they've only released two so far. The only ones I could have are those, so don't guess anything else. <laughs> I am going to be just basically showing what they look like in person or moving and things like that and not just pictures because pictures can be pretty deceiving and I like to know what my plushes will look like you know, when they're in person and I have them because I am an avid collector uh, and I want my stuff to be, I guess, the quality that I think it is when I see it in a photo. Oh, I'm sorry, I burped. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> the first one is Wigglytuff and I love Wigglytuff so much. There aren't that many like, plushies of Wigglytuff that are what I would say good enough quality to add to my collection. She's super precious. The size is like just so sweet. They're basically like bean bags, if you can hear that. Bean baggy. Good quality. I would expect from uh, Pokemon Center in Japan, their plushies are just a punch. Uh, especially in the last like five years, they've really gotten a handle on patterns for plushies and stuff. But this collection is really cool. Pokemon fits are awesome. But yeah, this is the Wiggly Tough, and she's very soft, great quality. Uh, 10 out of 10. Next one, I'm not 100% sure how to say the name, so I might be saying it wrong, be nice to me. Um, that's the same with all of these because I've played the games and I've read the names, um, but I haven't really watched the animes, so I don't really know how they're pronounced and I have maybe not the best understanding of pronunciations with words, um, <laughs> so I sometimes will say things wrong. Uh, Natu or Natu, I think it's Natu though. Um, this is my friend's one of my friends three and so cute and great just a great size you just kind of like sit them in the palm of your hand and i just take that i think that's so precious uh looks just like the pokemon details are really cool on the wings and it's like not paint or anything like that so it's just like the actual fabric so it, i don't really feel like i'm going to rub it off which is really nice because some plushies do have uh painted some details, especially like the Disney Zoom Zooms, I collect a lot of those. So I do have to deal with that like paint chipping and stuff like that. Uh, but this you don't have to worry about because it's just solid material and it looks amazing. Um, and it's perfect tossing, you know, tossing size for the hand. You Hi! <laughs> I paid money for this! I'm kinda sad it's not mine! The next Pokemon is mine, um, so if you have not guessed which ones they were, you should because it's so freaking cute! And I don't know if people would guess that I would pick this one, but I thought it was probably one of the cutest in both collections. That is Heracross! Um, I love Heracross so much! I, I like big beetles, I think they're so cool. Uh, Animal Crossing kind of made me like them more even, so... You know, I like getting rich, like getting them bells. I'm gonna name him Frederick because he looks like a Frederick. The arms are so cool the way they did them. Like they're so like detailed, the little sewing and stuff. Like the pattern is awesome for this plush. I love it. It's so detailed and cool. Even like the legs and all, like it looks like a bug, but it's a plush. And I just, I love that so much. Um, the quality is 10 out of 10. And I, I love him. His face is so good. And this is what he looks like in person if you're feeling like grabbing him. Look at my boy. 
already dabbing. Lava. Um, it might that might actually be the third one, but I'm pretty sure it's the second because it comes from Cinderella. And then, yeah, and then I might be wrong. Sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. It's okay. Um, I really like this Pokemon. The first time I played through, uh, I actually used Cyndaquil, which is sad because it shouldn't mean that I know it better. But eh, I'm bad at reading and comprehension, so it's just part of who I am. Well, there's two things. Um, this is why I didn't get it myself, even though I really like the Pokemon. I don't like the way the, like, nose is shaped. I think it's just a bit... It looks like a chinchilla when it's wet. That's the best way I can describe that. And the tail, the fabric's really good, but it kind of, like, is shedding a bit, which I feel like for the quality and the price, it's okay, because I don't feel like it would shed that much, but it is... There is a bit of shedding. Um, it is a cute plush, though, and this is what it looks like if you're thinking about getting it. so on the fence about this one, but I could really only afford three, and the three I got, I was in love with, so mm, it's worth it. This boy, handsome, just a, just a handsome, just a handsome little witchy baby. I love Murkrow, I love spookies, so, you know, you know I love spookies. Uh, the proportions are really good, I really love all of it. Uh, they didn't go over or under on anything. The wings are actually like not filled in with anything so that you can just kind of smish, smish them like little smishy beans. And I like that because none of these really have like bean beans so it's like a fake bean. I like that. <laughs> Feetsies, they're really cute. You can make them sit, you can kind of dangle them. So yeah, really good plush. Alright, this one is Alex's, uh, Smeasel, little baby, little baby chopping, chopping you up, chopping you up, chopping you up. Mm. I dig this. I think the only thing that I would change about it is the two, like, tokens. I guess. This is a big thing with, like, Meowth and all, like, a lot of companies will just kind of, I feel like they don't really want to think of a different way to do it, so they're like, just put some fabric on there. I mean, it is really cute anyway, I just... I would personally like it a little better, you know, if it was something different. Like, very bendable, sneak, sneak, little bendy man, great proportions, it's the same as all the other ones, so. This one is actually my mom's, um, Dragonair! I love this plush with a burning passion. I actually almost got the Dratini for myself. Um, but now I think I want the Dragonair more because it's just, like, precious. The proportions are so cute. Um, pretty thin, but, like, smip, smip. Gonna smip, smap, yeah. Smap, smap. Smap, smap. There's not too much detail in this, but really, the Pokemon, there's not too much detail in it. So, really, what could you do? Just, like, make up a bunch of elaborate things to, like, make the Pokemon wrong. Like, that would be silly. I think it's really good quality. Same quality as the, all the other ones. And, uh, <laughs> got some beanies in there, which I, I love. There's not really that many beanies. It's just kind of in that one section. And I think, yeah, that's the only section. There's no more beanies. So, yeah, cute. There's a tag. Boop, boop, boop. From Japan. Whoop. There we go. one just one which is shocking to me because I was like I want 50 and I just I had such a hard time picking three but yeah just picked out one and that was war turtle or war turtle war turtle war turtle war turtle war turtle, war -turtle. War -turtle. I don't know how to say it war turtle we'll stick with war turtle my first Pokemon ever was a squirtle so a very deep connection to this quality is awesome um, the tail does hang down a bit, so it's going to make it hard to stand, but other than that, like, it's proportioned right, so really I can't complain, because, I mean, they made it realistic for the Pokemon. If they had put it on the back, it would have been easier for it to stand, but also, um... It wouldn't look as much like the Pokemon, and that's kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah, I think they did a great job, and he has, like, the little blushies on his cheeks and the little teethies, which... <laughs> We're both smiling. It's like boop, pockets in your hand. The whole thing, the quality is great. They used high quality um, fabric on all of these, so they're just phenomenal. Oh, 
how freaking precious is this little fat boy um <laughs> like the little base is so good the tail is all wobbly but it's not like too wobbly and I mean it's such a good size fits right in the palm of my hand my favorite thing about it is the little like ear that kind of like <laughs> So it looks more like it's like emoting a little bit, which I love so much. But yeah, I really hope that you liked this collection because I love it so much and I'm really happy and I'm gonna get some more of these. <laughs> go my shirt is turning into a beacon of light and I will no longer be able to film uh, thank you for watching I hope you like this video and um, be kind to yourself and others <laughs> Look at me, complete part.